Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new review on the Twin Tube Builders. It's in our custom review. And I was inspired by the new Destiny's Bounty that came out from Ninjago. And I was inspired to build the Destiny's Bounty. There's a few things that are a little bit bad about it because of how many pieces I got on you. So I'll say sorry for those things right now. I am very sorry that... This is black, it's supposed to be red, but the black roof is there. I'm also sorry that it's not as tall and is a smaller smaller than the original. I'm also sorry that, that that dragon head looks like a tiger. Moving on. Um Yeah, so let's get into the review of the ship. Before we actually do get to the review, I got your normal Kai main figure, some gold blades. He also has some nice printing on the torso and the legs. And on the back. And there's back face print. His mask on, so you know what that looks like. And then right here, you got his first face print. And his mask on. And it's just your normal Legacy Kai from the first wave. Um, he has not had the shoulder pad because this Kai I did get from one of the first Legacy sets with Kai. I think it was Kai and Zane's bike thing. Anyways, moving on to the actual build. Um, with play features, I think I want to start with... We'll go from the front to the back. And we'll start with this thing. Okay, believe it or not, this is the best dragon head I could come up with. And the old one, before the prototype, or draft, looked basically like... Let me turn this ship see that. Here's it from the front. It doesn't look like a dragon, but you, know, you kind of need to see it angled. And, uh, ooh. and it looks like a tiger. That's all I can say. Here's me. Now, yeah, if I put the camera down, sorry about this. I just gotta move the bounty because it moves the back. So, you got, yeah, it looks like a tiger face. Um, now, as the, for the sail, I'm sorry, but this thing does not move. I can, I tried my hardest to make a mechanism with a rubber band to make it move down. I just could not come up with it. So it is permanently stuck. Now, the thing used for the sail is a TP from one of the Lone Ranger sets. I have never had a Destiny's Bounty, actually, and this is a, a custom, so never had any sails to work with. So, you know, I... I thought it was either this or a green dragon cloth from a Lloyd thing. Now, um, on this side, you have one of the engines that does turn 360, um, but hits the ground. So I, it's either in that pose or it's in this pose. I like it in that pose. Um, in the middle here, oh, oops, you got a turret that spins 360 and has two spring loaded shooters that will shoot through the sky. Um, and, and yeah, they're back here. Oh, also I have the space background. It, of course, it doesn't make sense because the Destiny's Bounty is supposed to be on Earth. Or what we, what we think is Earth. Ninjago. It's supposed to be on the ground, not in space. But, um, I, it's, um, a really cool background that does, that I really like. And I want to use it more. Especially with the Star Wars creations because it makes more sense there. This is a Star Wars background, by the way. Um, yeah, right here you got a little soda can. Um, and then we'll get, um, let me put the camera down once again. And I can shift this to here. I did not have enough black pieces, so there's gray right there. Now, um, this does come off very easily via jumper plates. That is from my, um, that Mandalorian set, the walker. So there's jumper plate over there, jumper plate over there. As for the interior, um, let me get Kai. Kai here, and if I take off his two swords, for the camera, bring it up here. There are two jumper plates right there for Kai to just sit and stand and steer. He has a control panel there, and let me take this one off, and a control panel there. this back on. Why isn't that working? Okay. Um, I think the steering wheel is in. Okay, there you go. 
So I stick all that back on in there. Let's just put that on top. Now, um, oh, there's one more play feature. Oh, also there's a ladder here, so your ninja can climb down from the main deck to the imaginary door that would have their quarters, or they can climb up from um, the underneath quarter thing to um, the deck. Now there are steps here with jumper plates. Jumper tiles, I guess. You can just place your minifigs easily so you can have them stepping up. Now, um, let me cam down once again to move this beast. It is pretty heavy. Now, there is one um, other play feature that is an anchor right here. So, if I'm good, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and you know, this is an iPhone box. <laughs> it's you, okay, but um. So if I get this knob here that has red, turn the knob, or you can just turn this thing, but I like turning the knob. You can lower down an anchor. I'm pretty sure there's two anchors in the set, but I'm pretty sure in the show there's only one anchor, and it, oh, I'm starting to reel it up, but it goes that much down, so not that, so this, it goes pretty far down. So, you know, if they, just throw down the anchor, and yeah, that's the last play feature I put into this design. Now, uh, let me reel up that anchor. Sorry, I'll just use this. And there you go, let it dangle a little bit. Now, if I put this down, I'm going to take the iPhone case away and place this here. Now, to um, get to the interior underneath, below deck, um, you have to, there's um, many connection points. Now, the first one is, you have to pop these things off. You have to pop off those railings, and then, let me, the camera here, if you get right here, you can lift, oh, shoot, <laughs> The sail falls now. Um, from time to time, the sail does fall. From time to time, the sail does fall off. And I apologize for that. Um, you do not want to grab from the main deck walls. And there you go. I just took off the entire platform. I'll set it to the side. And now to get to the interior of this room. Um, first up, we're gonna look at the bedroom. The bedroom is nothing but a bed. Now this bed looks very chunky. It is, but the thing inspired from the Lego Ninjago moving bounty, it can open up. Now you have to place the main figure here because if it's one step closer, this thing won't close. I'll, like, if I put him right there, and then, oh, and it breaks because, because of, so I'm going to move him back. Right here and reattach this piece. Let me get that. This isn't as smooth as the Destiny's Bounty one because, well, I didn't have the pieces on hand that I needed for it to be as smooth. But, anyways, um, if you lay them down correctly, they can sleep snugly in their bed. Now, if I take Kai out of the bed, we can move on to the dojo. So, inside the dojo, I want to start with this. Over here you have a weapons rack with um, three weapons, a cutlass, a scythe, and a, a machete. In the middle you have a, du um, a dummy, which is just, I guess, the other minifigure in this set. A plain black minifigure. Plain black, nothing. No printing at all. And he can, and he can spin. So, when they attack. Now, if I turn to the other side... There's a black, um, let me get a black sword right there. Also, if you didn't notice, um, there's Technic pins that are holding all um, some of these as walls because I didn't have enough bricks to hold all this. Um, anyways, right here you got uh, on this table here, um, you got a lava lamp and a compass. The compass is for some reason in there, but. If you lift the, now you can lift this table up, and underneath is a sword. A vermilion, not vermilion. Uh, just, I'm blanking on name, but 
There's a secret sword just in case for emergencies. You can use the sword to fight off your opponents. Now, if I close this. And let me get camp to stay put. I'm going to reattach. Ooh, I just pressed hard on the one of the engines. Okay. So now I'm going to reattach these things. Okay, time to reattach this. Now, right as I was reattaching, um, <laughs> once again, the sail broke off. Now, it does that because there's a lot of weight on the sail, and it can sometimes break off because of how much weight is relying. So, anyways, um, let me get this back on. So it connects back here and up here. And then, if you remember, there are these little connections that go, that connect up here. And let me reattach this piece. Back, oh, here. And there you go. Um, that's going to be it for this today's review. Um, first, actually, before we... Oh, no. I, I didn't put the dummy back in its place. Well, um, I guess it's going to have to be other. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this today's review on the Destiny, my custom Destiny's Bounty. I am really proud of this. The only thing I wish I could do is the sale. I am going to be looking up on like watching reviews of the Lego Ninjago movie uh Destiny's not Lego Ninjago movie but just Lego Ninjago Destiny's bounties and try and get some well ideas for Anime Sale. Um I'll put Kai here and well that's gonna put be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and um I will see you guys next time. Let's see if I can and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.